I'm Sumit Chandel for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. We announced a number of new features for Google Pay at I.O. this year, like secure payment authentication to help with risk and compliance-based authentication needs, a fresh new look for the Google Pay button, applying the latest Material 3 design principles, as well as providing both dark and light themes, an improved test suite with payment service provider cards, virtual cards, and much more. Check out the post to learn more about all the updates in Google Pay and a look at what's ahead later this year. New AI extensions powered by the Palm API are now available as part of our Firebase Extensions collection. Extensions are prepackaged serverless solutions that let you quickly add new capabilities to your apps. With new AI extensions, you can quickly add cool, smart new features to your apps within minutes. Like the new chatbot with Palm API extension, now in preview, which connects the Palm API to Firestore so you can add intelligent chat capabilities to your app. Cloud Functions for Firebase second gen is now generally available and in a public preview now supports Python. Some of the second gen features include up to 32 gigabytes of memory to handle demanding workloads, concurrency allowing each instance of a function to handle up to 1000 requests in parallel and much more. We've also added support for OR queries in Firestore, announced app check for authentication and games, Terraform integration to automate provisioning and configuring workflows for your Firebase projects, experimental support on Firebase hosting to deploy your web apps powered with Astra, Nuxt, and SvelteKit, and much more. You can learn more about each of these new updates and try them out today by checking out the post. We're excited to announce support for Postgres 15 in Cloud SQL. You can now take advantage of many new and valuable enhancements in Postgres 15, like improved security through features like defaulting schema public to private, an improved developer experience by providing support for the SQL standard command merge, multi-range improvements, performance improvements like faster sorting, and much more. Check out the post for details and the full documentation on Cloud SQL for Postgres SQL managed databases. We've recently announced the launch of the v0.1 version of Graph for Understanding Artifact Composition, or GWAC for short. GWAC targets a critical need in the software industry to understand the software supply chain and to help security professionals protect it from sophisticated supply chain attacks. GWAC aggregates software security metadata and maps it to a standard vocabulary of concepts relevant to the software supply chain. This data can be accessed via GraphQL interface, allowing development of a rich ecosystem of integrations, command line tools, and policy engines. Guac v0.1 is now available as an API for you to start developing on top of and to integrate into your systems. Try out the Guac API yourself, share feedback, or join our monthly community calls by checking out the details in the post. Many open source projects at Google use Rust, a modern systems language designed for building reliable and efficient software. This week, we announced that we've aggregated and published audits for Rust crates that we use in open source Google projects so you can easily import audits done by Googlers into your own projects, and that way attest to the properties of many open source Rust crates, ensuring they meet the security, correctness, and testing requirements for your projects. For the details on our audits and instructions on how to import them into your projects, check out the post. To learn more about all of this week's stories, make sure to check the description box below for all the links. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and stay safe. I'm Sumit Chandel for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. The software industry to understand the... Sorry. I'll take that, I'll take that last story back. That's right.